All right, so now we've kind of got this. Um, if we go to the 3D, we've got these these guys um, repeated along here. Now I want to rotate each one of these with an increasing increment of 15 degrees, and I'm going to use Dynamo to do that. So I'm going to go into my Manage tab here, and I'm going to start Dynamo. And I've also, I've saved this as a generic model line division, so I just saved that family. Um, but I have a, 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 a oval set parameter by name Dynamo definition here, so I'll just open it. And if we look at it, we're just going to look at this first part right here. And so what it's going to do is it's going to go get two-point oval surface type 1. So one thing you want to make sure of is if you pick this, that this says type 1 and not you know, type 2, 3, or 4. So it does say type 1. What that's going to do is go and get all of the families that have been repeated. It's going to count them. It's going to put them into this sequence and give us a sequence of rotation numbers of numbers at 15 degrees and it's going to take that and push it into the value with the name of the parameter and adjust those. So if I zoom in on this and back up on this guy and I run this You'll see it goes through, and if I go to reference level, you'll see it starts out, and if I tab select in and pick this one, that one's at 0, this one will be at 15, and it's equal to the sequence in here, right? So you can see it just counts all those and then adds 15 degrees and comes in and rotates all of those, so you get those guys. Now if you want to do different rotations or multiple rotations, you can do it in different ways. So if I go to my 3D view here and um, I pick this line and make a bunch more lines, so I'm going to make a series of lines that go up here. So I'm going to go to uh, my Create tab, I'm going to go to Reference, and I'm going to go to my Pick line and this was the reference level, this was uh, RP02, and I want RP01, and I want to make one on 03, 02, 03, and 04. So I'm just going to go to placement plane, RP02, and if I come in and tab select in to where I get that line, right, you can see it will create it up there. And then, oh, I need to get the whole line, so that's kind of annoying, but let's go ahead and, and I'll tab select and pick that one, right, and then go in and get that one, right, so I've got that line there, and now if I come in hit escape a couple of times, I can pick, do the same process with just the line, which will be a little faster, so if I go to create, reference, and then I go to pick line, and I set this to three, I can then hover over this and tap my tab key, and it'll pop it up there, and then I can go to four, right, and then tap my tab key, and now I've got all of those, and I can come in and pick these, so I'm just going to pick each one holding down the control key, so I'm getting all three of those, and I can divide those paths, and I can put the same parameter on it that we put for the other division, right, and now I have the same number of divisions. Now you have a couple of options. You could either do these all the way up to the top and it would rotate them full length, or you can come in to your families here for the generic model that we made. And we have the type 1 that we just did there. And if I pull type 2 out, right, I can then place it at this second level, right, and then I'll pull type 3 out. And then I can place this at the third level. And then I can do type 4 and place that at the fourth level. And then I can come in and I can use these set to type 2, type 3, and type 4. And then if I want to, I can set the angle increment differently or start the angle, like I could start this one at 30 degrees and still keep the angle increment at 15. Um, I can set this one at 0 and do every 30 degrees right and then I'll just leave the bottom one set to that and I'm going to unfreeze these I froze them so it wouldn't error so I'm going to unfreeze these and then I'm going to come over here and repeat these because you got to repeat them so I'm just going to pick that and repeat it and it'll repeat it pick that and repeat it and it'll repeat it and then pick four and it will repeat it Right, and now it's going to take each one of these and create a new sequence. If I run it, 
you'll see all of them rotate based on what those rotations are. And so if I go to the front, right, and go to shaded, you can kind of see the difference in the way that rotation is working, right? So you have, you can kind of see how you can manipulate those. Um, so once, um, now that we've done this, I'll go ahead and put it into the project.